the 10th anniversary and the Asian Financial Forum 2017 celebrated with a lineup of 100 top speakers. The theme, Asia Driving Change, Innovation and Connectivity, with one example illustrating Hong Kong's financial connectivity early on. The Shenzhen Hong Kong Stock Connect launched last month is a fine example of how our Shop Connector role can benefit all Hong Kong, Shenzhen, the whole of mainland, as well as investors from all over the world. Economic uncertainty and questions over trade relations under US President Donald Trump were subjects for consideration by keynote luncheon speakers, who also looked at prospects for stronger growth in the world's largest economy. Post elections, there's a, some euphoria about the possibility of deregulation in some industries, about a fiscal boost, lower taxes, maybe a new tax code, all of which is giving some optimism to the markets and to certain segments of the industry. So short run, probably we're in for stronger growth. If Mr. Trump delivers on his pro-growth agenda, we will get at least three interest rate hikes. As of now, I think we is a good baseline with the balance of risk to the higher. The two-day forum at the Hong Kong Convention and Exhibition Center hosted more than 2,800 financial and business leaders, policymakers, investors, and high net worth individuals arriving from 50 countries and regions. On-site polling showed the highest number of attendees think China will offer the best investment returns in 2017, with a major growth engine being China's Belt and Road Initiative, linking over 60 countries for trade and development. And I think the Belt and Road Initiative is an important factor here because it's trying to link uh, a lot of Asia together. And I think uh, what is important as we go forward is truly build a multilateral understanding of these issues uh, within Asia. The Belt and Road Initiative is seen as a major investment strategy by China Investment Corporation, whose CEO spoke on a panel focused on the global economy. The Belt and Road Initiative marks a new investment opportunity for the CIC. Compared to other large-scale investment institutions, the CIC is making larger investments in emerging markets. Around 30% of this investment is in emerging markets. So a good opportunity for Hong Kong to exercise its super connector role. With the initiative coming from China for the Belt and Road Project, presumably a fair amount of the design, financing, uh, construction, project management will be something that Hong Kong can participate in. We have a subsidiary in Hong Kong. Hong Kong can provide a platform to help us conduct Belt and Road investments. The Asian Financial Forum included the Global Investment Summit and more than 620 matchmaking meetings at AFF DealFlow, while providing a dynamic platform to explore business opportunities as the signature event for Hong Kong's International Financial Week. Concurrent AFF workshops were held on Asian infrastructure finance and financial technology, with huge opportunities also for investment in green finance. Hong Kong's mass transit railway is a leading pathfinder. The numbers are completely mind-boggling. I'm just uh, China alone, according to the estimates that PBOC produced a year ago, is going to need, over the course of the 13th five-year plan, something like one and a half trillion US dollars of uh, green finance. The MTR has led the way, as they often do. I hope that they'll be followed by other corporations in Hong Kong who have the need for uh, environment-related expenditure and therefore can raise green finance for that purpose. True to its focus on innovation, the AFF featured a session on payment technology and cybersecurity, with Hong Kong poised as a center for innovation and startups. We're exactly equal distance between Indonesia and Japan. We're well positioned with China. We're well positioned with the Western developed countries. And this is a place where we have a lot of talent from a technical development perspective, and we should continue to harvest that here in Hong Kong. AFF 2017 celebrated 20 years since the establishment of the Hong Kong Special Administrative Region of China, contributing to Hong Kong's role as a global financial center. So this is my first forum, and I came with certain expectations, and the reality has exceeded my expectations.